So I found myself recently watching the Dark Side of the Ring episode about uh, the untimely passing of Owen Hart. And, you know, it was everything I thought it was probably going to be. It was fun on the one hand to reminisce about some of the good things about Owen Hart and also still 21 years later, incredibly difficult to remember how his great life with so many great years ahead of him, both in his career and as a family hit man, was tragically and senselessly cut short. And, you know, the documentary itself was fascinating to me in the sense of, you know, you really got to hear a lot uh, from Martha, his wife, Oge, his son, you know, to a lesser degree his daughter was Athena. Um, so very interesting and somewhat compelling, unfortunately, to hear a different version, a different side of events. And, you know, timely, too, because we just recently passed the anniversary of that Over the Edge show. It was it May 23rd, 1999? You know, it was 21 years ago. I was a high school senior then. That's a long, long time ago. But that memory is so vivid still in so many of our minds. And, and the weird thing is, is that so much time has passed that you have a lot of wrestling fans, frankly, that are very passionate about the business, the form of entertainment, the sport, whatever you want to refer to it as, that don't even remember Owen Hart, that weren't even alive for that moment, and can only begin to imagine, like, the surreal feel and surrounding it and everything associated with it. Like, still not fun to think about 21 years later. Especially, you know, for me, I enjoyed Owen Hart's work so much. I loved Owen Hart. Like, I was an Owen Hart mark. Babyface, heel, babyface, heel. Didn't matter. Like, he was that dude. You know, Tony and I always used to go back and forth. You know, he was a raging hitman Hart mark, and I was a raging Owen mark. And I remember years back, we did the one video on the old Off the Rope Show channel about who's better, Brad or Owen. And, you know, I was so fervently, passionately pro-Owen. It's because he didn't get the same platform and same opportunities as Brett. doesn't mean he wasn't better, because he was better. And I still stand by that. No offense, Brett. But compared to Owen, you were like a 4 out of 10. Just saying. Uh, but you think about it. In all of these years later... It's still so tragic. But to me, there's one lingering tragedy that persists that I just, it just, I just struggle with. And, and to be fair, it is so obviously tragic that a man fell to his death like he did for no real good reason over two decades ago. It is so tragic that a woman lost her husband her life partner, if you will, her soulmate. That a son and a daughter lost their father at such young, formative ages. And so much of what they might know about their father is either fleeting memories or stories told to them secondhand by their mother, others in the family, etc. You know, that's tragic. It's tragic that there was really no reason for him to do the stunt that he did. It's tragic that somebody was put in charge of making sure that the harness was secure and they failed. And relatively speaking, a young man died as a result of that. That is horribly tragic. It is tragic for so many people that were involved in professional wrestling because they lost a friend a co-worker, a pal. Tragic for the Hart family because they lost a son, a brother. Tragic for millions of wrestling fans because we knew Owen Hart's legacy, familiar with his work, enjoyed his work, enjoyed who he was, and that was taken away from us too. Like these are all so inherently tragic things. It's inherently tragic over two decades later 
that we still have to talk about this in such a way. You know, Martha has gone back and forth with the WWE off and on over the years with lawsuits and everything else, and it's tragic that it even had to be like that. You know, Vince at one point in time suing Martha Howard. Imagine the temerity, the ball, the guts of doing something like that. You know, these are all tragic. But to me, the lingering tragedy that still remains out of all of this, beyond just those kind of obvious things, is that we've gotten to a place for so many years, and it's still this way, and I still believe it to be true, that the thing we remember most about Owen Hart, the thing that stands out the most about his legacy, is his death and how he died. We think about that day. We think about that show. We think about the thought of the news coming to us real time during the pay-per-view. And then the decision being made once a word came down that he had passed away, that the show must go on! Which is so ridiculous and so gross to even think about to this day. But it is the fact that all of these years later, when people think about Owen Hart, they don't think about the husband, the father, the family man, the practical joker, the great in-ring worker, the great athlete, the great personality, the guy with the flexibility of character to be able to work on both sides, heel and face, and do it equally effectively. We don't think about all of that. We think about the fact that he fell almost 100 feet from the rafters and plunged to his death in the ring as part of a stupid gimmick for a meaningless match at a stupid pay-per-view that should have been stopped and never happened. That's the tragedy of much as anything of all of this is all these great things that Owen Hart represented and all these great things that he did in his career and in his life. Over two decades later, we're still unfortunately talking about how he died. We're talking about how he met his end, not his journey and his successes and his accomplishments and his achievements. And that, to me, is a real, true, blue tragedy. And I certainly understand the viewpoint of Martha and Oge and, and the you know, Owen's family, like, you'll never forgive Vince. Can't say that I blame you. You don't want any association with WWE because you feel, rightfully so, they directly and recklessly contributed to his untimely demise. Because they did. It's just, I wish it didn't have to be like that. Like, look, I'm not saying that everything should be kumbaya or ever could be kumbaya. Nor should it be. It's hard to get over that stuff. And leave it for me to be the person to judge from the outside looking in. But, man, at some point in time, don't you have to learn how to let that go at least a little bit? Just a little bit? Like, if you don't, it'll eat away at you. It will consume you and it will ultimately kill you. And I'm pretty sure I would think without oh, having never known the man personally that Owen would not want that. Like a lot of people probably tend like what this is what Owen would want or this would what Owen wouldn't want. Like we don't really know. We could just think and believe. Like Vince, of course, being the rat bastard that he was saying Owen would want the show to go on. How do you know? And even if he did, like you're the boss, the show doesn't go on. Like a couple of years before, that wasn't in your house pay-per-view where the, you had power outage issues, so you ended up having to redo the show a couple nights later. But when a guy freaking falls to his death and almost 20,000 people witness it live and you've got a devastated locker room, you decide you got to do the rest of the crappy show! I just, I just look at this from a standpoint of when well, Martha and Oge specifically are talking about the Owen Hart Foundation and all the good work that they've done with the Owen Hart Foundation. Why not leverage the WWE, use the WWE to bring more awareness and attention to your great foundation and the great work that you talk about that it does? And you think about it too. Like this does not just come down to a simple Hall of Fame ceremony or a Hall of Fame induction. Like that's so trivial and meaningless. Sure, it would be nice for Owen to have his moment in the sun and have so many millions of people around the world that didn't get the chance and the honor to watch Owen Hart like I did and many others did be able to know that this man is defined by way, 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 way more than how he ultimately died.
it would be nice to be able to leverage the platform that WWE has in a way that could bring more awareness to your foundation, that could raise more money for your foundation, that could more positively impact more lives the way your foundation does. I would certainly like to think and believe that Owen would be okay with that. I'm not pretending that he would be because I truly don't know. It's just what I would think. It's just what I would believe. Knowing what I've heard so much from so many people over the years about his character and qualities as a man, like I would look at it that way. Like If I'm an untimely demise, but my family could leverage those to help contribute to my death, to help make lives better for others, like, yeah, I would be on board with that. I would do that. And to me, like, there's always been this big gaping void in the hearts of so many rest, millions of people around the world. Like, Owen was not just a husband and a father. Like, he was a hero to many and adored by millions all around the world. There are so many people that have this gaping void in their wrestling lives because it's never been quite made whole. And I certainly hope we can get to that day someday where that does happen. And maybe it has to wait until the old man kicks the bucket. Certainly understanding of that. Certainly on board with that if that's what it is. But I, I, I want to make sure that down the road, as more time passes, that in 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, we're not still looking back at Owen Hart and primarily solely focusing only on the way that he left this earth. Because he was about so much more than that. He meant so much more than that. And he did so much more than that. His death should not define him. And what I worry about over these 21 years that have passed since his untimely, tragic, tragic passing is that the true tragedy of it all is, is that this great man, this great performer, this great entertainer, this great husband, this great father continues to only be defined by his death and how it happened. And that, to me, is as tragic as anything else.